Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this episode we'll talk about how to create your very first AI app using LangChain and Llama 3.1 from Facebook locally. So we will actually look at uh, what is LangChain and what needs to be done to achieve that goal. So first, what is the LangChain? LangChain is a framework designed to simplify the creation of apps using large language models. So you can use it with JavaScript or Python, and it will help you to increase the speed of the development of AI apps, which I will show later in the video. Also, what you need to know is what is Olama, because we will create this app completely free and store it locally. So when we hit the API, we will not be hitting OpenAI API and pay money will be hitting our local machine, which runs Llama 3.1 with 400 parameters. Please refer to the pre video and with the description link in description below on how to um, run Olama locally. And now let's jump into the code editor. So first we need to do, we will have to download a few de dependencies. So we'll pip install LangChain core. It's already installed for me, so I don't have to run it. The next one will pip install LangChain. And then we'll have to pip install LangChain Olama. Basically, it will download for you Oh, sorry. It'll basically load for you a dependencies to operate with LangChain and LangChain Olama. So after we install those dependency, we'll start coding. First, we'll have to import a few things from Olama LangChain. First, we'll from LangChain Olama we import ch Chat Olama. It will help us to interact with Olama application will help us run our local uh, instance of Llama 3.1. Then we will import parser. I'll talk through what is it and why do we need it. And then we also will import another dependency called human message and a system message. So first step, we'll have to set up a model and we'll type model equals chat Olama, which we imported. And then we have to specify a few parameters. First, which type of model we will run. And right now we'll be running 3.1 and which temperature should we set. Temperature is basically we'll tell a model how accurate of a result it needs to be produced. So if you increase the temperature, then the result will be more concrete. And if we decrease the temperature, that it would be more vague. Then we will have to set up a message. So we'll set up our first message. And this, our message will be just an array, an array that will tell this system message the content. The message will say, please translate the following into from English to Italian and then a human message say hi. So basically think about it. If you open chat GPT, you'll first explain your content. We say, please translate our, uh, follow our um, message. And then the human will type a message. Hello. And it will translate it. So we'll make it more, uh, you know, programmatic. You will have to send a certain, uh, message like hello and then you can change it to how are you or whatever and it will take a content on the system message and will translate it to Italian. So that's that. So we'll have first we'll setting up a model. Good. And then we'll hit the message. And then we'll have to invoke that message. So in order to invoke the message, we will have to interact with the with the modal instance of the class so modal and we hit the method called invoke and we pass our message into it and then we will print the message 
let's store this message variable into result result and then let's try and print print our result we'll print our result and see what we get as an output so we say python app.py we run this app we'll see what we get what we'll get in return is actually the message but it will have a lot of m metadata you see so content ciao so we actually get the translation of hi into italian but we get a lot of other metadata that we might need or might not need dependent on the context so what if you wanted to get rid of this met metadata then we need this parser so the parser will basically parse our output and then we'll only produce the content of the message so we create a variable parser and assign it a function parser that we got from langchain.core then what we need to do we will create our first chain we create our first chain and then the chain will pass parser will parse our message and the modal and then what we're going to do we'll print not our message not our result but we'll print actually the chain so we'll wrap the invoke method into the chain and see what we get as an output so in is an output now we will only get chow okay so this is basically that's all we need we created an app that takes any language any message and translates it into it in english from italian let's try how are you for example we'll save it hit it and see for the output sorry i don't know uh, much of italian so i might mispronounce so you see it, it it gives us an output how to formally and informally run uh, this uh, message okay so then it's really nice but then what we also can do we can get a little bit more visual so we'll create another and this is really cool we'll create server.py with langchain help us it will create already for us a server that will help us uh, visually see what we get into the output so we'll have to install a few dependencies so first we'll pip install link server dot all I'll type it here so you can see it in a bigger screen and then we'll have to pip install API so after we I already installed those two dependencies but after we install those two dependencies we will can we can uh, create following code that will create a very very nice output with the visuals so you'll see it in uh, later so first we'll have to import a few dependencies first we Im import fast api from fast api then from Langchain core we will get chat prompt template and string output parser so string output parser we already walked through what it is and chat prompt template will basically create a nicer template to interact with the input string then we'll create prompt template so prompt template basically will allow us dynamically inject uh, a language as well as, well as the text so let's see system template will be translate the following into language so language can be dynamic and then we create prompt template using the class chat prompt uh, template from the message and we say system message says system template so it will be translation into language and then user will type text and you'll see at the end uh, what will be the output then we'll have to create a model 
we already walked through how to set up a model. So I'll just copy paste it. So I'll create uh, a model llama 3.1 and it's complaining that we don't have a chat or llama import. We'll import that. Okay, so we set up a model. After we set up a model, we'll create a parser. And remember the parser will just have a nicer output instead of outputting, you know, metadata on the message, it will just output a clean message for us. And then we'll create our first chain where we pass the model and the parser. So parser will parse the message, model will set up a model and prompt template just create a template of, uh, you know, what are you going to write into the message? And then we will Define an app, you know, this is all standard. You'll just copy paste, you know, title of a server version, a description. Very easy as this is an, in, it's an instance from fast API. And then we'll set up a few routes so we can interact with the server. So here's the interaction with the server. So add routes, app chain, chain, and then if name in call main, we'll use the host, local host 800. So you can see it now a little bit on the bigger screen. You can put, put, pause the video and, you know, take a look through the code. So we're importing, create a template right here. Then we create um, our model. Then we create the parser, put it in the chain and the template, and then we will create an app and set up roots. So then what we can do, we can see what we go Python server.py. So we hit it. Okay, once we hit it, okay, it's complaining about add roots. Okay, because we forgot to in, uh, import roots from uh, link server. So please add this link server import. After we import, we'll uh, hit it again one more time. So what happens is link chain set up a server on the local host 800. So it's local host 800 will open up this local host for us. And then we need to go slash chains slash playground and look at that we get this nice playground where we can type a language let's say spanish and then we say anything we want hello then we hit start and our llm on local machine will get going and translate from spanish hello into hola and how does it do it so it's amazing. But basically, this fast API that LangChain provides shows a visual representation, what we type and create in the app. And you see over here, they translate the following into language. So we'll create into Spanish, pass this into LLM, translate the following into Spanish. And then what it will translate, you know, text, hello. So we can say, how are you as well? Or whatever you want and it will basically show you it will create you know it will translate it for you very nicely so it's the same as this message that we discussed before just in the visual representations thank you so much for watching this video and in the next video we'll talk about another app that we can build using AI. Please subscribe, give it a like, and I hope to see you next time.